cowboys are swimming with the fishes. You want a war? You're gonna get one. Yeah, no time for one more play. What the rough screwed us? The brother screwed us. I'm upset, but the brother screwed us. At least they fought back and tried. Yeah, you, 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 you literally the screwed us. The brother screwed us. Yeah, we had one bad opportunity for one more play. Dallas still stinks. Kate Ding back here and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Outer Banks of North Carolina where Philly 500, not a beach well, just got out of the water and he saw a storm was coming and I thought to myself, this is fitting because a storm is coming for the Dallas Cowboys and the rest of the NFC. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled pause. Eagles content creator in all of the internet. If you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you so much for all the support you give to me. As you can see, I am on vacation. I had been on the beach well, for like the last four hours, um, getting a nice little tan. I don't prefer to get tans, but you know, I'm out on the beach and I see the storm coming and lightning and stuff like that. And I'm like, this is fitting because I was just telling somebody. The Dallas Cowboys got big problems. The NFC's got big problems. Because the Philadelphia Eagles are focused. They're focused in. Uh, I love what Jalen Hurts said. I love what he said to the team as they grow both teams, as they grow for summer vacation. He said, last season is over. It is over. And that's really an important statement. And this is why I love this kid so much. Because the truth of the matter is this. You want a guy, a quarterback, a leader who wants to win, who desires to win. A lot of guys, you'd be surprised. They get their big money. They get their big paycheck. They feel that they have arrived. They almost won an MVP. It's good enough. Jalen Hurts doesn't feel like that. He never has. And I don't know how windy this is right now. To be honest with you. I really don't know um, because I got the MVPs there from air pods on. But this is supposed to be good for the outside. I had another mic but it, it was just picking up too much, too much wind. It's really windy today, but uh, you might even see lightning in the background. Uh, but, uh, wow, what the hell was I saying? Uh, I love Jalen Hurts' attitude. I love how he is trying to keep his team focused. And to me, that's what it's about. You've got to get over the hump. We've got to get over this, this stigma. Well, and it's not even a stigma. It's really happened where teams go to the Super Bowl and then they never come back. And, and they're never really that good the following year. It happens all the time. Like, there's a giant letdown. The Eagles have to avoid that. And I think it starts with Jay Lewis. I definitely do. And you feel that wind pick up? Ooh, I love it. I love it. Matter of fact, let me tell you a story. So, last night, my bedroom's right, right down there, right? And I'm watching TV, and I have the, I have the, uh, I have the door open. And, you know, I have the door open because I love hearing the, the ocean and the waves, right? While I'm trying to go sleep, it's just, it's soothing. But all of a sudden, I hear these helicopters. I'm like, what the hell is that? And it's circling for like, it must have been circling for 45 minutes. And I'm looking, and there were two black, black helicopters off the shore. Like, I don't know how many, like, miles to, like, out there. You could, they, they weren't, like, transponding, like, where you were getting a, like, beep, 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 beep you know, that little red dot. It was nothing. It was just the scene. It was too dark out there. And they were just circling and hovering. I don't know what they were looking for. What are they looking for? I was waiting for like a UFO to come shooting out of the out of the, out of the sky and I came up here to this deck. Because you come out of my room, you kinda go up the stairs and you're on this deck. Over there where all these uh, all these greaseball Italians are sitting over there and they're all related to me. But I was filming over there. And then they decided that they were going to come and have a party. They wait till I'm filming. So I'm like, I can't film with you people all talking. Because all you hear is a bunch of people. When Italians get together in a big group, especially my family, 
it sounds like everybody's yelling at each other. Like my wife, her mother, like the first time they, they were around my family, they're like, man, these people are yelling at each other at the same time. Nobody can hear. I'm like, that's not yelling. We're just having conversation. But that's them over there. Pain in my butt. Anyways, they're all right, but they took my spot. So I'm out of here. I actually like it. It's nice and cool. But yeah, I mean, it, it's really true because, uh, you know, I've been talking, you know, with families. I've been talking a lot about, like, stopping that whole streak of teams that lose in the Super Bowl, come back, and they usually struggle the following year. The Eagles have to avoid it. And it starts with Jalen Hurts. It really does. And the fact that Jalen Hurts comes out and he says, you know what? Uh, last season is over. That's a big statement to me. That, that to me, tells me this guy is focused. This guy is ready to go. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. God, I can just live on it. See, this is what I want. I want to live on the Pukinkas. Forget these sorry people. I don't want to live around. I want to just live. Live. I'll fish every day. I'll surf. I'll chase sharks. It'll be a beautiful thing. But, yeah, so... So I think I think it really starts with Jalen Hurts. Obviously, health and all those kind of things play a part of it. But the Eagles are in a very interesting situation because there's not many times where you see a conference as open and as weak as the NFC. The NFC is weak, no doubt about it. In my mind. Uh, just just look just look at the teams. San Francisco, they don't have a quarterback. Uh, Dallas, they stink. They're swimming. Here comes the winds picking up again. Dallas, they're overrated. They're definitely overrated. And then and then who else is that? Really? I mean, who else is so good? Seattle? Not really so worried about Seattle. Giants, I don't think they had enough weapons. Uh, I think a team like the Chicago Bears, I think they're going to be a surprise team, but I see them as like getting to the playoffs. I don't think they can do damage. Really, the only team I'm really worried about for the Eagles in the NFC is really San Francisco and Dallas. And I'm not even worried about Dallas in that. I think they're better than us. It's just that you always have a battle with your NFC's opponents. You know, even if they can't admit it, you know. It, it, it is what it is. There's always, when it comes to Cowboys, always an inversion of reality, right? For example, Marcos. Hey, friends. Marcos. Everybody in Cowboys. Like, I'm um, Right? He's doing, like, what, 10 videos a day. And he's doing it from the basement of a dark room on a boat. And the boy wants to goes like this. And that's the greatest thing ever. Oh my gosh, nothing done like it. At Philly 500, I'm sitting here at the beach. All right, oceanfront property right there. Oceanfront. Champions, Cowboy fans, losers. Sorry, not all the Cowboy fans, but some of you, you know, it is what it is. But really, uh, I think, I think. In truthfulness, the Eagles have a great opportunity because I think the NFC is so wide open, which is why when you have four roster spots open and you're Howard Roseman, you have to make any possible move that you can do. You've got to take a chance and you've got to do it. Just my opinion, you know, but it is what it is. So now everybody's going in as I'm wrapping up my video. Figures. It figures. But uh, I think it's going to storm tonight. Woo! Can't wait. I can't wait. And I saw this. Uh, I guess camp, train camp is opening July 25th. It can't get here soon enough because as far as I'm concerned, as soon as this beach trip is over and I go home and I get back on my diet, I'm ready for football season to begin. I need it to begin. ASAP, you know. And I, 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 I saw that Nick Sirianni, and I'm sorry that this is just a little bit random video of me ranting. These are just kind of the thoughts that I've had building up over the last few days um, with the Eagles and just talking to people and family members, uh, you know, about the birds. So to me, I think I think the Eagles are in a great situation. They have to be careful of the, the whole curse and the whole, you know, the whole thing where the Super Bowl losing team usually struggles that following year. They've got to avoid that at all costs. If they can do that, they're going to be fine because the NFC – is wide open, and I really like what Nick Sirianni. That's what I was gonna say. I really like what Nick Sirianni says about um, he likes his running backs. He likes how deep they are. I agree with them. I don't think the move 
and just get another running back. I do think you have to make another move. You've got four roster spots wide open for Howie Roseman. I think one or two of those should be a special teams. So let's get a punt returner. You could use a punt returner. In all seriousness, that is probably the weakest part of this team. You need a legitimate punt returner. Forget kickoff returners. That don't matter anymore. But punt returner, yes, legitimately, you could use a punt returner. No doubt about it. Um, I still think you could always get better at defensive end, so do that. And, you know, uh, if you want to add a linebacker, I'm okay with that, although I like the guys we have. I think a safety is still should be in play, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what the Eagles do. I, I think the Eagles really are in a good spot, and, and really what made me excited was seeing that Jalen Hurts is saying, last season is over. Like, like these are things that, that did not happen under previous quarterbacks and teams we had. Things like that were not said. He has a great way of just like bringing everybody back to earth at, you know, while being a star and while shining. So, it, you know, you just got to love, love the guy. Now, I want to change the subject real quick. What the hell happened in the guy he made with a fight? Like, like I, I totally wasn't watching TV or anything. I saw that there was some sort of brawl. But can somebody explain to me? I saw the clip of the brawl then. Why did they just? Why did they call the fight? What the hell happened? It, it don't look like like anybody cheap shot anybody until after they call the fight. Does anybody know what the hell was going on? Was that the whole thing a total staged event, or was it real? That's what I want to know. I don't know. It is what it is. But yeah, it's time for me. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the beach. I'm hoping it starts to pour and rain, and thunder and lightning, and then there's giant waves for me to go in and surf. That's right, big tub of shit. Surfing is like nothing you have ever seen. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, won't be a thing back. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. What's up, dude? It's time. It's time to go to the beach and do damage in the ocean. But. I always bring the most important thing to the beach that everybody forgets, but I literally bring the most important thing for everybody because I'm a believer that you don't torture people. People have ugly feet. We should have all been born with hooves. Therefore, we must protect people's eyes by using something called aqua socks. Here they are. That's what they are, aqua socks. Eagles aqua socks. That's what we're doing, baby. We got damage to do in that water. Aqua socks, baby. Let's go.